Okay, so now we're going to show you how stacking works with the Pi. So you have this uh, row of GPIO pins here on the Raspberry Pi. And we want to be able to bring those GPIO pins out to a breakout board uh, where you can use them for servos, sensors, and other things and mount level converters like this. Um, so that you can uh, utilize those GPIO pins. But you also want to be able to use displays such as this display. Um, and so the way you do that is you stack these things. So first of all you can see I have mounted a 40 pin header on this Adafruit Pi Hat uh, and soldered all the pins in. This this header is intended for stacking because you can see the header basically has pins that continue through and protrude just like the Pi does. So this special header is a stacking header. So we use that stacking header instead of a regular header which would of course have the pins chopped off. So we plug that we plug this into the pie like that and now you can see it's it's uh, connected we also need um, a good mechanical support here so what I've got is a spacer um, and an additional little spacer um, and let's see we'll measure the uh, size of that the spacer is about 16 millimeters, 17 millimeters, probably the right value. And then we're going to use a 440 screw. This 440 screw is about 27 millimeters, or basically a 1 inch 440 screw. And we will put the screw through the hole down through the spacer and through the bottom of the pie and put a nut on there just like that and we'll tighten it down later but now you can see we have a very nice reliable and equal condition so now with the stacking header <coughs> you can basically pile more stuff on and that's done uh, basically by plugging on just like this this display was meant for the Pi uh, version A, um, but the first 26 pins are equivalent. So uh, you just plug it on like that, and now we have our breadboard area and a display. Um, makes it very useful, and it still fits in the jar.